Thanks. Sir. Um, as winter approaches, kind of looking at what are the main challenges that poses for Ukraine, how do you see it impacting the fighting? And there have been various announcements on donations of cold weather gear. Um, does Ukraine have what it needs on that front at this point? Is more necessary? What, what's your assessment of that? Yeah, well, certainly um, weather is a significant factor in any military operation. Um, winter definitely will present some challenges to, to all parties on the battlefield. Um, I think that when you look at things like, you know, rain, snow, mud, um, the, the impact that it has on the terrain, uh, it, it definitely will add another level of complexity to already very dynamic uh, battlefield. And so uh, this is why, you know, a, a major reason why you see us continue to work very closely uh, with Ukraine, with our international partners and allies to identify what Ukraine's needs are. Um, Secretary Austin talked a little bit about this last week in Brussels in terms of um, you see Ukraine continuing to put pressure on Russia, and that continues to be important uh, as we get closer to the winter months um, because, um, you know, clearly uh, Russia uh, is experiencing some significant logistics and sustainment challenges right now. Uh, those are only going to get harder as the winter months set in, and so uh, time is certainly of the essence when it comes to uh, capitalizing on that from an operational standpoint. In terms of your question uh, about uh, how does it affect, um, you know, the support we provide, again, this, this will be the ongoing conversation. Uh, and I think uh, through things like the contact group or through the bilateral discussions that we have with individual nations uh, and our allies and our partners, we're going to look at what it is that we need to get to them to help enable that continued forward momentum on the battlefield.